here in Sacramento, it dipped to like 95 today and everybody was like, oh, sigh of relief, cool air, you know, all that. Um, who do we have in the building tonight? My name is Don Caprice. And where are you from, sir? I'm from South Sacramento, California. Oh, okay. You're, this is born and raised out here? Born and raised out here, yes. Oh, nice. Um, okay. Um, Don Caprice, is that your given name or is that your artist name? That's my artist name. Okay. Any background on your name? Uh, yeah, it's kind of a long story, but uh, I mean, caprice means a sudden change in mood of behavior, and I got severe ADHD, which kind of like causes me to like go all over the place, you know, in intrusive thoughts. So right. And I like to say that I'm very versatile with music. I can rap, I can sing, I can make R&B, I can make country if I wanted to. So caprice, sudden change in mood of behavior. And the Don thing is just because I watched The Godfather and Don Corleone <laughs> is just hella cool. Tip know, the like, typical Don. Yeah, Don Caprice it is, and it's a brand. We forgot the underwear. Oh, that's a, something I hear and hear a lot. Let's get it. But uh, I also want to turn it into a brand eventually. Don Caprice, the brand. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, shout out to the live. We got um, El Fingas, Legend. Hey, how you doing, Fingas? Uh, G Millie the Great, McEnroe. How we doing? Productive, protected Energy, Scandal the Dark Lord. So this is 360 Radio. It's connected radio, the Yi area. Um, I, I represent the Yi area because I represent all area codes, not just one. Um, just a semi recap on the weekend, uh, I was able to go to the Bay Area Bosses tour in Brentwood last night. That's where I picked up this fat, be legit shirt. Um, he was on with Mac Mall and Selly Cell. So that was like a blast from the past, you know, and everybody in the building went crazy when Selly Cell, uh, Killer for the Skriller, came on because, you know, that's like everybody's song. So I don't know what era you're in age wise as far as like throwbacks or anything like that. But if you were, if you follow Bay Area music, that was like one of the best experiences I could have ever gone to because it was all my old jams, um, as well as I got to get on stage with Maul and record him on stage. So that was pretty dope. So that's what I did this weekend. Um, do you have any fun plans over the weekend that you want to touch on? Or Last weekend, I just worked on my studio, set up my studio desk, and kind of laid low. I'm kind of So you're engineer, right? I, I am an engineer, but I'm I'm kind of reverting myself to just get into the artist game. Artists you know? only. But that's how I got introduced to a lot of the Bay Area cultures. I had a studio in Vallejo, California, for five years, and that was my way into the industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I was an engineer, but I I got kind of not even got. I'm very tired of just kind of being boxed in as like right. the guy behind the boards because I do love making music. That's my passion. That's my therapy. So I'm branching out, and I closed it, and you know I'm done now. You're gonna pivot over to the artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's dope. Well, we uh, we're we're always like Monday night, Tuesday night, sometimes Sunday night. We're here, and this is like safe space for creatives. So Love if you it. ever want to come co-host or absolutely just you know watch, because sometimes you have to be around art to create art. You know, it just helps, and I feel the same way um, about, about my endeavors too so um, I've heard some of your music super smooth um, what are some of the background uh, as far as like um, people who influenced you for your sound who did you listen to uh, Michael Jackson's a big influence Ooh, that's a good one that's like that's my hero I, I strive to be like him sing like him you know just move like that uh, another influence I mean all American rejects it's not R&B or like my style of music, but I did grow up listening to a lot of alternative rock and definitely like, molded you. Yeah. yeah, and then I mean Eminem, of course. I just you know not necessarily like his rap style or his music, but just the impact he had on like culture. I like that he's a character; he can be himself. Right. He wasn't afraid. He he, he didn't need Peter Pan training. You know what I mean? Not he was just at all. himself. Yeah. And but, when you're genuine like that, you don't, typically don't. I mean, it's nice to have the guidance, but... Sometimes the biggest assholes are the most genuine people, you know? Right. When well, people that's... are too nice, that throws me off. I'm like, what are you hiding, bro? Like, <laughs> how are you this nice? You're not this nice. Like, what did you do? Did you kill somebody? Right. Is there a body under your couch? You, you know, you just know it. You just know it. That part. Well, we brought some songs here tonight, so let's talk about what you brought for the people to hear. Um, I brought uh, one song that's already been released. It's called More Than I, Say, More Than I Can Say About You. I made the beat, mix and match myself. It was the last song I made in my studio before I had to unfortunately close it down. Mm -hmm. Shout out Vallejo 707, you guys you guys made the dawn and you know, I love you guys. Uh, that song's kind of just about, you know, embracing your dark side 
and like accepting the mistakes that you made but trying to be better okay it's probably the realest song ever made i love it i actually heard that Mm because i believe i watched some of the reels that were made to that Mm -hmm. song um i like your sound thank you um i like people because i'm also i'm like i'm a hardcore rap fan but i also like like bryson tiller and i love bryson tiller uh, you know just all different guy lavert you know all different types of music so i think it's nice to be able to have that uh, you know flexibility to dibble and dabble between whatever sound you want you know and that's what art is to me mm-hmm. shout out nobi i see you on the um on the live feed and gang why are you going in. her lab not mine nobi <laughs> i'm hurt i'm a rap star <laughs> it's okay <laughs> didn't you know oh much love to Cree creative design she made the hat she also made the glasses so the glasses do say queen of the trap barbara walter create if you're watching this i need a pair i love bucket hats oh and she did like the um scrabble letters like around the, the shout out creed creed dm me super um uh detailed so uh much love to her oh quincy on the live shout out my guy yeah that it's his birthday coming up soon well we're gonna play some music from dawn and then we're gonna come back in and talk to him about just ask him some questions about where he would um like I, some of my questions are like what would you do with ten thousand extra dollars right now if you had it you know um where do you go to learn do you watch like internet or tv or read so we're going to come back and do that but we're going to go into uh, more than i can say about you right now it's don caprice uh, more than i can say about you do you see that please tell me the email went through <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it's all right we're not live live so let oh, me okay let me look it did go through i have clocking out or i want you back there should be more than i can say about you in there too there's uh-huh. only two of them yeah let's serious? let's run it's, there's uh let's do i want you back and then we'll get the other one email or air dro- airdrop to you we can, you can actually play um more than i can say about you on spotify it sucks that it didn't go through i could have sworn we did that my bad idiot yeah, yeah we're let's, gonna let's do, do i want, want you, back. you back yep can what's you, what's some some background behind that uh it was about an ex that broke my heart and uh hold on did you want her back? I, I did want her back. Okay. I don't want her back anymore, but at the time that <laughs> <laughs> at the time that I wrote the song, I definitely wanted her back. It happens, you know? Yeah. I know all about it. Um, we can uh, try to get the other one in while we play this, but let's run that in. DJ JDZ on the board, y'all. Hey, if you need websites, tap in. We got it. You all the time, how'd we get so distant? I've been struggling since you left, I must admit. But I still got some love to give, you still my best friend. Same girl, that's how I know I'm still in love with the same girl. The next time I find her in love, I'm staying faithful. And even though I've come close, she still ain't you. Cause when I had you to myself, I didn't want you around. Now all I want is you with me right now. Yeah, yeah, I just want you. Your girl Mickey, that was uh, definitely a banger. That's like, 
That shit should be national, like internet. Come on, uh, past someone, the internet. Like, someone needs, help me out. Needs I need to be radio play because it sounds like something that's already on mainstream. No cuss anyway. words. I made the beat. No samples. Just me and the board. Someone help me, please. <laughs> well, we're trying. We're here right now. Thank you. you thank you're you here so now. much. Do you know how hard I've worked in the Bay to even get to this radio station? So thank you. I you're really welcome. Really no problem. I um I I like people who are um. Under the radar, though, because I feel like that's the people that work the hardest. Facts. Um, Facts. I'm, I'm one of them, so I understand your pain. Uh, well, we let's talk about some of this. As far as like we were just talking about the questions I was going to ask. Mm-hmm. So, if you had ten thousand additional dollars that you could sink like on your music career, where would you put that right now? What would you spend it on? Uh, absolutely, I would invest into publishing. Okay. Um, a, a publicist, not publishing necessarily, like a publicist, because um, you know. You need to get your notoriety on the internet, get the right interviews, you know, get on places like No Jumper, you know, Elevator. So I'd invest in a good publicist and I'd start moving around in interviews in radio stations in LA. So I'd invest that all in the marketing. I think my music doesn't need to be polished anymore. I'm always trying to get better and I always am getting better, but I've already cracked the code to what my sound is and who I am. Right. Now I just need it to get it into the right ears. So publishing is very important, and mm-hmm. I want all these younger artists out here, and you're not much, uh, I'm sure you're younger too, but for you to have your shit together like that, mindset-wise, is very important. Mm-hmm. Um, I know people who have hit songs that don't have their shit like signed up, published. They don't have any of the pu- publishing. Like If we were to play it, spin it right now, they wouldn't get anything from it. And it's like, it's not, I do agree it is hard, it is difficult, but it is a step that you must take if you want to be successful in this music game. Mm -hmm. And 360 is ASCAP, CSAC, and BMI Mm -hmm. licensed. So anything that is spun here, y'all are going to see that, you know. So definitely I applaud you for that answer because, you know, everybody has a different answer. Some people say videos, some people say merch, some people say uh, marketing, but publishing is not an answer that I've heard yet. Mm -hmm. So I think that's important to point out that, you know, this is a young artist. So he's he he knows more than some of y'all know out there that have already been doing this shit for a long time. So continue on your um, stride because that is it's a smart move. Um, I think you. you're a good businessman, so that's, that's going to be important as well in this industry. Is like your name is your. Um, you, you have to have a good name in this industry or else you're fucked, you know, like... Reputation's everything. Everything. So I, I know a lot of people think that people don't talk, but NorCal is so small and everybody's on everybody's live. So yeah. <laughs> just be aware that is an important part of, integral part of the music game is um, your reputation and publishing. So very good answer on that. Are you, as far as, because I know you were doing podcasts, uh, I, I was watching you guys, so were you doing your own podcasts? Like, were you making it or you were you guest on one uh i've been a guest no i was trying to cre- create, create a brand yeah. through my 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 old studio called high frequency and um i, I you know I, I loved i loved that studio and i was trying to create this brand essentially you know mm-hmm. that was going to be like a no jumper type thing but the it was taken away from me being done and i had to choose between one or the other because it, they, they weren't they weren't coinciding and I didn't want to be labeled as Don High Frequency. I want to just be Don Caprice, the guy that makes music. Right. So I was going to do it, but it was it was a distraction and it was honestly like kind of like a ADHD panic attack of like, oh, how am I going to make money off the industry? You know right. what I mean? Right. Oh, if I do a podcast and I charge people to call, come on this podcast, I can do this. But the fact of the matter was I wasn't doing a podcast because I loved it. I was doing it because I wanted to make money. Right. Now that I don't have that, that overhead, I can just focus on myself and that's right. what I've always wanted to do. And the studio allowed me to like make the connections, meet all these people in the Bay, you know, meet who I needed to meet and like create a name for myself. But now I want people, now I want people to know who I am, you know? Right. I make music, I can, you know, I get down on the guitar, I can sing, I can rap, like, let me in the industry too. Like, let me show you that I'm a, I'm a real shooter, you know what I mean? Well, let's do it. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. right. Well, so even tonight, you're going to get introduced to my other guests. And I like to see people connect and um, follow each other and, you know, hopefully work together someday because that's what we're all here for. So much love to all the entrepreneurs out there. And I know it is an ADHD nightmare because I'm also that way. Those intrusive so thoughts are crazy. I had to focus on one lane or mm-hmm. else it was a wrap for me. So I can definitely relate. Um, let's go ahead and go into the song that we just sent to him, which is more than I can say about you. I made the beat for that one too. You did, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, is is this out now? Can it we, is. It is out. And they can and pick I, it up on all like streaming outlets. Definitely, and I definitely, uh, I wish I would have 
knew about the publicist that I knew now before I released it because I probably could have got it more notoriety. So hopefully the organic growth from everything I'm doing can make that song get the recognition it deserves. Nice. Well, we're going to go ahead and spin that. So JDZ, did you get that next song I just sent? Yes, sir. Wish that I could change that. I still feel this pain. These days it's getting hard to face facts. Why'd I even say that? I wish I could change. And there's more than I can say about you. At least I'm trying. Not everything's gonna be about you. Cause I'm done lying. And there's more than I can say about you They say you get what you pray for I pray for freedom and I wish I would've stayed home Everybody losing touch, trying to stay young Why'd you block my phone? We could've made up Broken hearts, making amends, could've made love No trust, I can't fix mistakes if you don't say nothing I'm not that person from your past, but you treat me like it I feel like a punching bag, cause I don't fight you I just to friends, friends to know nothing All things gotta come to an end I'm trying to focus on the bigger picture Cause I'm so tired of taking pictures Tell me who you are when the camera's on Cause everybody just trying to find love And everybody just trying to find the one But ain't nobody really trying to find God I made mistakes that I can't take back Wish that I could change that I still feel this pain These days it's getting hard to face facts Why'd I even say that? I wish I could change And there's more than I can say about you At least I'm trying Not everything's gotta be about you Cause I'm done lying And there's more than I can say about you And there's more than I can say about you Uh, that's actually a yeah. sample that I found, and uh, but I can I can play that's those. That's pretty dope. Yeah. You can definitely hear the. Uh, did you find her? Okay, good. You can definitely hear the um, All American Rejects like in mm. that song specifically. Yeah, yeah. You definitely. It ends can. tonight. Yeah. It's definitely a, a good. Um, it's a good sound, and I think it's needed right now. It's like it's not driver and shooter, mm. and it's not um, co backpack conscious. It's like, it's it's fun and it's relatable because it's about a relationship, and everybody can ride with that. You know, everybody can relate in some way or another. Yeah. Um, what do you got your underwear on the counter for, Don? I want to promote my brand. You know, this is, <laughs> how, this is how I pay my bills. I got, I got. Everyone makes hoodies and hats and shit, but who else makes luxury men's underwear? Just me. Just Don. Just me. I also was one of the first rappers to make his own condoms, aka the Donums, and they're coming back. The Donums. The Donums. That's you, an if excellent you, if idea. You know, if you know, you know. And if anyone starts making condoms, I'm gonna call you out. I swear to God. <laughs> Yeah. Any um, live shows coming up, or what do you got planned do, for the future? I do got a live show in Berkeley on August 29th. I drop 84. Um, I'm pro it used, it's the old Ke Kepler's Lounge. It used to be Kepler's Lounge. I forgot the name of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm headlining. I got. I'm bringing some of my people to open for me. No pay to perform type shit. Just let them. You know, just let them. So if just a party. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Party. And then my homie, my brother, my, not my homie, my brother Spunky two times is gonna be the DJ. Shout out Spunky. I love you, brother. He's the one that actually did the drums on this next next. Uh, this next song, I did the guitar, and uh, he's gonna DJ, and then I'm gonna do a little 30 minute set after we're gonna do a party. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. A what set? Oh, big 30 minute set. A big uh. 30 minute set. Damn. <laughs> I was really thinking about that the whole time, and then I went, I went into conscious flow. It's all good. It's all good. I try not to be super Nazi about this because I know sometimes we're in the zone, and it's like we mm -hmm. do talk like that, and it is used in everyday conversation. But it is n nice to know that you say that kind of stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a cool 30 minute set. Yep. There you go. And it's at Drop 84 in Berkeley. 
Shout out to homie G. He's the only one that gave me a chance to actually headline at a venue in the Bay Area ever. I, I, sh- I emailed every venue in the Bay Area. They never emailed back to me. I talked to every promoter. They always wanted me to open or pay to perform. Mm-hmm. G, the owner of the Drop 84, is the only guy that gave me a, an opportunity. So thank you for that. Much love to mm-hmm. G. Mm-hmm. Um, anybody else you want to thank or shout out? And then I want to make sure they get all your social sites, like where to find you. And there, there's so many people, and I know that I'm going to forget some names, but I want to say thank you to Scando for you know plugging me. Mm-hmm. Thank you to Christian Coelho for getting me back in music because I gave up on music about five years ago. I'm going to be booking him soon. You, He's overdue. You got to. You got yeah, to. I'll I bring know. him over here. Super talented. That's one of my favorite friends. Th- shout out to Neff the Pharaoh for just always showing love you know just being my friend not even like trying to Neff is one of the very few artists and he's got a big name that hasn't really tried, tried to work with me when I had a studio he just wanted to hang out just genuine yeah yeah and I shout out to Neff shout out DJ West Coast because he was one of the he's a he's a DJ that DJed for a lot of shows of mine didn't ask for any money and he DJ's for Stunna Man DJ, yeah. shout out to Stunna Man 02 for like just keeping me on just like on eat a salad eat a salad you know what I mean um Shout out La Russell for giving us the platform to show us how to be independent. Yeah, um, he's definitely moving right now. Yeah, Scando, Neff, Christian, who am I forgetting? I'm going to say shout out to Zane J. He was one of the engineers that worked in my studio for a long time. He's been in here before. Shout out my best friend, Ant Trio. Shout out Peanut and Spunky two times. If I, for- if I forgot you, I love you. I'm sorry. No, I got a big circle of people that really believe in me, and I know someone's going to be like, are you serious, bro? You know? Everybody, I, I, I do the same shit, so mm-hmm. I understand that. And I've gotten it now to where I only say that shout out to God. Shout out God. <laughs> I was literally about to say that. Shout out to the only one I shout out most of the time um, because I'll forget everybody else's uh, craze 916 tuned in on the gram um, yeah I definitely was just in the Bay Area shout out Nobi I love you Nobi <laughs> I'm gang. sorry I'm shout out Nobi yeah he's, he's <laughs> definitely dope how do they find underwear uh, how do they uh, those haven't dropped yet so where are you going to sell them at? I'm going to sell them on DonCaprice.com. Okay. Yeah. And I'm, so this is just a teaser. It's a teaser, yeah. Okay. I'm, I've been past, some people got, you know, the prototypes right now. I just want to test them out, see how they do, and I'm waiting. But so far, they haven't broken. They're, they're sweatproof. They, they look good, so I haven't had any complaints. So I'm going to put them on the market pretty soon. Yeah, you need to make sure the bitches can wear them. They, I got some for the bitches, too. Okay, because we like to wear people's boxers. Definitely, like, I actually, the girls are way more supportive of my brand than my well, homies. Duh. My ho- homies are always like, let me get one for free, bro. And I'm like, bro, are you serious? Like, how am I ever going to make money if I give you stuff for free all the time? Women are the biggest supporters of everything. Why do you think I make music for women? Everything. Aside That's from- who's going to buy that shit. Exactly. I know all about it because I work with men and women, mm-hmm. so I know <laughs> I know the women are m- much more gracious. They give way more back. I love women. <laughs> if, you, if you couldn't tell by my music, I love women. I know. I can tell by your music. <laughs> Shout out to the DJ, JDZ. I got the cameraman man in the building, 916, Sackboy. Um, much love to the Bay Area Bosses Tour. That's where I picked up this Be Legit t-shirt. What's up? Um, Sacramento, I, I love you, by the way. Got to see Be Legit. I'm Le- sorry I've been gone for like a decade. Yeah, I love you guys. it's okay. You're back now, mm-hmm. and you're um, you're on fire. So we're going to help you. We're going to bring you in here and we're going to inspire each other to um, make more money and make more content and make more good music. It's really about that peace and peace of mind. Like when I'm around creating, it makes me feel safe and it makes me feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to. Mm. So also, I want to make sure everybody knows and prayers out to everyone affected by the park fire right now. It is um, only 12 percent contained. It is burning the whole northern part of the state. It's at um, almost 700,000 acres burned in four days um, my parents house is not far out of the trail on that so please pray that everyone makes it out it's, they, there's been a lot of people lost their houses already so if you guys can donate any time or money please do find the uh, appropriate avenues and do that because this could be you guys at any moment um, and myself so I uh, just want to make sure everybody was aware of that but I want to thank you for coming in we're going to play your last song but I'm, I'm going to exit with that so I want to make sure you know that I was looking Looking forward to you on the first time we were supposed to meet, and mm-hmm. I was glad that it happened now because I was able to do a little. Uh, I see, I almost said it. More research on you before you got here, and I was able to actually get to know you kind of as an artist. Thank you. Thank you. So I think that's really dope. Um, I think you should keep going. I think you have a really nice niche sound, and you're not like anyone else in here. So uh, keep moving. Keep Much love. Thank pushing you for the gas me. pedal, right? Got to. Yeah, that I part. I got you guys. And this is the Yee area. So much love. 360 Radio. 
ye with seven e's or it's not getting to me they know they just had to send me shit on the email today um the nails are nails by cree they are press on nails they're customs they have my um name on them that's why this one's crooked as fuck because i put it on myself <laughs> <laughs> much love to the dj the shooter we got 707 DJ. cortez coming up next and we got ray bands is in the building y'all she's gonna be my last interview for the night so oh, yeah. uh let's let's, let's get it in yep Clock you can go out. ahead and do clocking out you want to talk about that before we get out yeah uh clocking out i'm gonna be honest like it was just about some girl that i want to go like i want to go see her and I drove, i'm not gonna lie i drove to fresno to go see her shit i've gone further yeah oh really well i've gone to la before anyone i'm talking like that mm-hmm. and we went on a date you know and had some fun and then you know she ended up telling me she didn't like me and i wrote a song about her the next day you know, I just, I, I don't know. It just, I love that kind of stuff. The, when I get that emotion, I just got to put it on paper. And that's why I like living life. But uh, shout out her. Shout and out it's her. Don Caprice on all social sites, yeah? Yes, Don, Don, Don Caprice, yeah. Okay, wonderful. Well, I've driven to Oklahoma before, but we won't talk about that. We're going to talk about that in the future. <laughs> we are going to talk about that. Much love, Don Caprice. You can go ahead and run that in, DJ Eddie Z. Hey, Trey Solid tuned in on the live. I see you. Fair game, baby. <laughs> If I gotta be honest, I'm scared of being alone But I'd rather be with you, wasting time by your side But this ain't the perfect moment and I'm terrible with time So I'm clocking up, clocking up, clocking out of your life Clocking up, clocking up, clocking out of your life But I'd rather be with you, wasting time by your side the perfect moment and I'm terrible with yeah. time. I like the way you look at me. You're mad at me. My friends tell me you're trouble. But they can't see the things that I see in you. If it's me and you versus the world, baby. How could we lose? I got trust issues just like you. I'm broken, I'm just like you. My mother and father taught me everything not to do. Including lust, including drugs. Yeah, everything that's so fond of me. Everyone gon' make fun of me. Cause you don't know what you want. Just listen to the song by someone I don't know. And if I gotta be honest, I'm scared of being alone. But I'd rather be Time by your side, but this ain't the perfect moment, and I'm terrible with time. So I'm clocking out, clocking out, clocking out of your life. Yeah. Clocking out, clocking out, clocking out of your life. But I'd better be with you, wasting time by your side. But this ain't the perfect moment, and I'm terrible with time. 